Hi, just a quick video on how you can update the firmware on your Radtel RT880 without having to download Radtel's update tool which um, has a pretty bad false positive virus alert on it and it makes it tricky to be able to handle it because a lot of virus scanners see it as a very bad threat. Now part of that I think is because that particular tool and also their CPS software as well um, asks for admin rights when it runs and that's completely unnecessary I have no idea why they do that you don't need admin rights to access a serial port so to me that sounds a bit sketchy but in any case um, what we've done here so this is my github uh, github.com stroke Nick Shaw if you go here and then go to my repositories you'll find RT880 FW flasher go into here okay and this is the source code so it's open source you can check it if you like make sure you can compile it yourself if you want completely up to you uh, but most people probably want to go to releases and at the time of this video version 1.2 is the latest version so I'm going to download that zip file there okay I'm going to save that so there it is there's a zip file and I'm going to extract this now so there's three files uh, the PDB file don't worry about that it's in fact that's not even necessary I don't know why I put it in the archive but there's the the flashes uh, executable program and this is the extracted firmware the the binary file um, that's taken out of their um, update software so it is literally just the standard raw binary you know the same way most other manufacturers do it so now I'm not going to set up a remote camera or anything like a second camera for this because it's only supposed to be a quick video so I'll just go through it quickly and explain what I'm doing on the radio so I'm going to start the flashing application this is what it looks like and you want to make sure that your radio is plugged in and remember with this you can't use just a standard USB cable this is what catches a lot of people out it needs to be a special cable a special programming cable it's like a CH340 to USB-C right it won't work if you just use a standard USB-C cable it, it doesn't work like that so just be aware of that you need a special cable uh, you can order these you don't get it with the 80 the 880 when you order it I had to make mine similar to the way Andreas M0 FXB made his uh, from a CH340 uh, USB uh, card thing uh, but you can order them they're not expensive and they're about six quid on Aliexpress so um, go to your COM port in, in my case it's COM4 just like that and you need to basically select this RT880 version 1.14 this is the latest version as, as of making this video so uh, I'm going to click browse here uh, I think this is in uh, demo isn't it there we go so that's the file you want RT880 version 1.14 bin okay so we're all set here so on the radio I'm going to turn it on and now I'm going to hold the PTT button and I'm going to turn it on with the PTT button held and the LED at the top now at the moment my LED is light blue because it's it's also charging at the same time and it's fully charged but you'll see that the LED will change color yeah or it will come on so there we go so now I'm going to click flash and off it goes and I just basically let it get all the way to 100 percent I'm 
there we go and the radio is now booted back up to the updated firmware and that's it it's as simple as that there's no um, admin rights no viruses or anything like that you can review the source code yourself now don't worry about SPI backup and this monitor console and everything that's stuff that's uh, being used with my firmware for the RT880 which is being developed at the moment but this is still a perfectly good firmware flasher and these bin files that there, there is an application out there that can extract the bin file from the from the tool that Radtel supply but again there you, you're having to deal with um, viruses and quarantining and things like that so these bin files will be made available for download um, from numerous places and from my github as well every time radtel release an update so this is basically how you can do it without having to get stressed out about virus scanners and, and all that sort of stuff all right thanks for watching bye bye